Hi, Facebook. Happy Sunday. I um, I'm coming at you today. I, I posted that the topic of this conversation was going to be about breaking the cycle of fitness perfection, which I've talked about a lot lately in my own struggle and my continual struggle <laughs> um, to kind of face my own self-limiting beliefs and negative self-talk. And, you know, I wanted to come on here tonight because I was having these feelings of overwhelming gratitude today and this week because I'd set out with this intention of, you know, really giving to give um, with this Body Love Summit that I'm launching tomorrow. It's gonna go live tomorrow. And my intention was give to give. You know, that was my full intention. I wanted to, you know, share my story in hopes that it would really relate and help other people. And that it would help other people give to give, meaning sharing their story would help other people that they can touch in their lives. And I knew that my story is powerful because it, it's truth. <laughs> and there's so much power in, in truth and authenticity. But I also knew that I only have a small audience, right? My, the people that are listening to me you know, are, are just a handful of people. And in order for me to really make a movement and really get on my mission and stay on my thing, I needed to enroll other people in my movement and in my mission. And I knew I needed to reach out to these experts and people in the industry that could share techniques, tools, and guidance on how to heal, how to learn to love yourself, how to have self-acceptance, to stop the self-limiting beliefs, to stop maybe the punishment through exercise or restrictive eating or even eating disorders like in my case. Um, chasing and striving for that goal, that physical you know, goal that I was trying to constantly attain. Right? And instead of thriving in my life, I was constantly striving for this fitness perfection because I thought that would you know, create happiness or it would make me worthy or all those things that you know, I was telling myself that were not true. And you know, going through this interview portion of you know, 29 experts that are just brilliant speakers, authors, you know, um, people that are dietitians, holistic healers, celebrities, people that really get it and have their own story with self-limiting beliefs and learning to love themselves and how they've come through it and sharing that. And then all of their tools that they learned along the way was so powerful. I am in so much gratitude for these human beings. And my hope is that this time of the year, it's a really, it, I did it intentionally. I really wanted to give you something of value and service so that I could be a part of the solution and stop perpetuating the problem, right? And truly that is my intention, is to give to you freely and openly and generously so that you can benefit from these experts like I have. And you can gain help if you need it. And you can get the tools to stop self-sabotaging your life and really live your true purpose because what I have learned through all of these experts and one of the biggest takeaways is that when we focus on you know, playing small, and when I say playing small, I mean when we focus on our physicality and striving for this perfection or over-exercising to the point of you know, we're losing our health or you know, restrictive eating to the point where you go binge eat like I'd, I would or you even get into anorexia and bulimia and orthorexia, all these things that we do, they dim our light. And our focus and our intention goes on that obsession and that addiction. And instead of living our purpose and being on our thing and sharing our light with the world, we turn it on this physicality. And it doesn't enable us to fully live the way that we truly should. And so that was one of the common themes of, of all of the experts. That was one of the takeaways that you're gonna learn so much about during this online free series that starts tomorrow. Um, and it features two experts a day that are giving to give, right? Uh, there's no martyrs here. I mean, they're all giving to give and they're all giving you the information that helps them and, and passing it forward, paying it forward, right? And as we're coming into this new year, my full intention was to give you something powerful that could change the trajectory of your year, of 2019 for you. You could finally break the cycle. If you're stuck in the cycle like I was, or any other self-loathing, self-negative talk, anything else that's preventing you from truly shining bright, right? Whatever that is for you, for me, I've been very open about what it was for me. It was perfect, it was striving to be that physically perfect 
Instagram unattainable <laughs> image that the culture shoves down our throats, right? Which is crap anyway, and it, it's completely unattainable and unrealistic. But that was my thing, it was my addiction, it was my strive. And you know, my intention with this summit is to help you stop that. Whatever it is in your life that you're striving for, that you're dimming your light for, is to break free of it this year. And to have the tools and actual tangible things that you can take with you and, and better yourself and truly live the way that you want to live in 2019. Um, so I really hope, and it's funny, <laughs> all you moms can kind of relate to this right now. I just, <laughs> I just got back to Sun Valley and I was in Boise and I literally, <laughs> I literally drove with four kids and a little Subaru <laughs> all the way up to Sun Valley with no radio. It was like... It was quite interesting. So I'm ready for a glass of wine tonight, I'll, I'll tell you that. But I was, I was still overcome with just so much gratitude. These kids are, are so amazing. But, and I also have to say, this give to give thing, it just, I got inspired by my mother-in-law because she always gives to give. Like she's the true real deal of somebody that just gives and gives and gives and never even thinks about getting something in return. And it just reminds me of all these experts on this panel. I mean, they just freely give to you. So I hope that it at least reaches one person and changes their life this year. I hope that, you know, my goal was to touch a certain number of people, but in reality, I really just want to share and give, give you this gift. So I'm, I'm giving to give and my hope and what my call to action for you right now is to take a stand with me. Take a stand with me. Take a stand against this epidemic. Take a stand for other people in your life. And if it's you, if it's you, fantastic. Take a stand for yourself and enroll in this free summit. If you're not struggling with these things, that's amazing. Congratulations. But if you are, um, please take advantage of it. But if you're not, my call to action for you right now is to be a guiding light to someone else in your life and to give to give. So give this summit, share this summit, put it on your page, share it with your friend, send an email, and let them know that this is for them. It's, it's for anybody that's dealing with any of these beliefs and, and give them this gift this year. I hope that you pay it forward. I'm doing my best to pay it forward and um, I will continue to. I am on mission and I will not stop <laughs> until I'm reaching all the people that need to hear it. So um, I just wanted to pop on here and, and, and talk to you about that tonight. So please, please enroll yourself. I'll be there with you, I'm hosting it and I get to interview all these um, speakers and experts so you'll get to be there with me and share and hear my more of my story along the way um, I will be going live later this week and dispelling some other myths about you know this connection that we think we have between what looks fitness perfect is really sometimes the most unhealthy you could be and I want to share my story my health story I've shared my struggles with my fitness perfection my striving my eating disorders my massive eating disorders I've shared that story with you but now I'm going to share the tangible effects of what it did to me during that time health-wise, but what it continues to do to my health and how it's, I've suffered and my health has suffered because of what I was striving for all those years. So now instead of striving, I'm thriving and I'm loving and I'm learning to love the body that I live in and I want that for you too because we all deserve that. Okay, well, happy holidays, you guys. I will pop back on later this week. Be on the lookout for email updates on... Um, when I'm gonna be live, and also I'll just pop on my Facebook and let you know. I will share the link here for the Body Love Summit. It's bodylovesummit.net, not .com. So it's .net, and you can register for free. There's absolutely, um, there's no catch. <laughs> it's just free, that's it. I mean, there's, there's nothing to it. There's no, um, you know, sign up and put your credit card in. There's nothing like that, it's just free. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Sunday evening and enjoy your families. I know I'm enjoying all these kids in my house. <laughs> and you know it was total debauchery at Grandma's house this weekend when all the kids are like, can we just have some broccoli? <laughs> I mean, you know at that time that they just, like, were on the sugar, like, main train, like, all the way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go finish making my crispy broccoli that they love and finish dinner for them and I hope you guys have and I'm gonna have a glass of wine I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday and I'll touch base with you this week